Oh man. Pretty good. You just need more power. Okay, again. Huh. That was okay. I got it. Aim and strike. Get things done, like in life and business. My turn. Just like the meeting with Raymond, the IT contractor, yesterday. You aimed and struck. It was perfect. Easy. The system has many advantages. In addition to a user-friendly interface, it enables one to track the real-time location of the delivery trucks online. So you can put your minds at ease while your clients can check the expected delivery time. Not bad. Very convenient. Yeah, your proposal is quite attractive. But today's presentation should focus on the improvement of the current system you designed so that we can get rid of the problems that occur repeatedly. Yes, it has minor problems. That's why you have to find the reason, solve the problems, and fix the bugs. Our IT team has to work overtime just because we have to reset the system. Users complain. Debugging the system is the top priority. Okay, Raymond, thanks for your presentation. We'll be in touch after some discussion. Ben, what did you think? I think it's pretty good. Of course, the problems with the existing system must be fixed, but I think it's time for an upgrade to cater to our long-term development. I think Raymond's proposal is worth a try. But the current system has too many problems. What do you suggest? I think the system is outdated, and it'll cost us a lot to upgrade it. We might as well revamp the whole system. Revamp it? How big's the project? It's big. Mm, but I guess it's possible. Actually, our IT hardware, like the servers, are pretty old by now. I'll discuss with Raymond. Mm. I think if we're going to revamp the whole system, we don't have to use Raymond's company. Honestly, his company's technical support is just mediocre. No one came to fix urgent cases. Why didn't you bring this up before? You're now saying that the service and support of Raymond's company are poor and we should change contractors. What do you want? Our company has no guidelines for the reporting of contractors' performance. Frankly, I don't know how to bring it up. Back to the revamp. If we have to overhaul the whole system, we should conduct an open tender and see if we can find better proposals for comparison. Yeah, we can do that. In any case, sometimes problems in the system aren't caused by bugs. Users are responsible too. Oh yeah. Regarding the open tender, do you have any friends in IT who you'll be inviting to bid? No, or I definitely declare it. Good. Okay. So I guess we'll revamp the system. Ben, mm. you're responsible. Sure. I invite more contractors to bid and check what types of hardware need to be replaced. Give me a budget estimate. Yeah. I'll discuss it with Nick. And the funding. Shouldn't be an issue. The system has to be bug free. Luckily, I hear you talk a lot about all the technical terms, or I wouldn't know what they were saying. Sometimes you don't need to be so knowledgeable on the technical aspects. You're senior management. Your role as manager should be leadership and strategic planning. <laughs> leadership and strategic planning. Well, Ben, I'm putting you in charge of the tender exercise. You're more familiar with the technical issues. No problem. Sorry. Hello? Sure. See you. Your boss doesn't know anything about IT. But he thinks he does, and he impressed you. <laughs> he thinks he's a great actor? But that's you! But the other guy's difficult. He complains about bugs or resetting the system, and now he wants an open tender. Are you game? You are a big company, with so many rules and competition. I didn't finish. Although we are a big company, we don't have a procurement department. All purchases are approved by the administration department. And as for them, they don't care about IT-related issues. They hand them back to the user. And who's the user? I see, I see. I'm responsible for the tender and evaluation. We have to follow the rules, but they're set by me. As for my boss, like you said, he's an actor. Yeah, I shouldn't worry. It's just like last time. It's different this time. The company's decided to revamp, so the budget has been increased, like my price. 5%? Reasonable, very reasonable. 
There's an extra requirement. Replace everything with FNZ servers. What? FNZ, not a common brand. We need to order from abroad. There's no distributor here. Wrong. I know the sole distributor here. This company, never heard of it. Sales manager, Mandy Wong. You know her? Let me introduce you. She's my wife. Good. So, congratulations on locating Hong Kong's sole distributor. So why don't you go and draft the tender document for me? And the project's yours. It's about right. Don't worry. I've discussed the specifications with Johnny and other staff. They say fine. F and Z servers. What are their strengths? Why do you specify them? Well, I've done my homework. In comparing the brands of servers, I found that FNZ is the most stable and have more options on the size, and only FNZ provides small servers which fit our rooms. I'm sure you know that the company didn't do long-term planning when they set up the IT department. Okay. The tender is closing soon. How's it going? Don't worry, it's all set. Oh, by the way, Ben, the specifications in the tender document are quite unclear, and the requirement of online ordering wasn't mentioned. Come on, Raymond, you're our current contractor, right? Surely there's some information and details that only you should know about. <sighs> well said. I'll deliver the proposal over tomorrow. Remember, two envelopes. I know. The price and technical proposals are separate. A big company like yours has many rules. The trick to pool is eyes, hands, and heart combine as one. Then you aim and strike, and you win. We've invited five companies to bid in this tender. One of them hasn't submitted a bid at all. Another one hasn't provided adequate information. Three bidders remain. So let's go through their technical proposals. Ben, which one do you think is the best? Well, in overall terms, sir, Raymond's company definitely has the best proposal. Only they have proposed an additional function to support the online ordering service that we plan to add on in future. But this requirement wasn't specified in the tender document. It just seems unfair. Actually, it's not that difficult for these two companies to add this function. You have a point. However, the proposal submitted by Raymond's company is clearest. The other two are kind of vague in many places. That may lead to trouble in the future. Future trouble? No, that's no good. What's unclear about the other two tenders? For example, let's talk about internet security, yeah? They haven't specified the design of the firewall. You're wrong. See? Here. Page 12. And here, page 18. It's very clear. I don't think they've clearly defined the zone of confidence. I'm afraid when we introduce online ordering, clients can't access our network, but hackers can. Uh -huh. How's that? Uh, see? They've planned for add-ons to the firewall. You seem very clear about those. Do you know these two companies? No. I don't know these two companies at all. That's good. I declare, of these three companies, I've worked with Raymond's company. So of course I know them. But as for the other two, I don't know them at all. I have no conflict of interest with all these companies. I'm fine with them. Ben? So what about the three price proposals? They're all within budget. While Raymond's quotation is second lowest, it's only 20,000 more than the lowest one, but it's already including the online ordering function. If we ask the other two companies to include that, I'm sure Raymond's quote will be lowest. But remember that their monthly maintenance fee is the highest one. It's a bit more expensive, but no matter what, sir, internet security is very crucial. Even though the other two companies have mentioned something about online security, Raymond's proposal is the most clearly written of the three. I agree with Ben's thinking. Internet security is very important. It'd be serious if our company's information was leaked. Also, with the online ordering function, if we ask the other two companies to resubmit their proposals, we'll waste a lot of time. So, in six months' time, we'll start using the new system. Daddy... Okay, don't cry, sweetie. Listen, if I ever find out that anyone is treating you badly, I won't let him get away with it. 
Thank you all for coming to Shirley and my wedding. <laughs> Father-in-law, rest assured, I'm an honest man. I always follow the right path, and I won't ever cheat. It's so easy to lose everything if we act recklessly, right? <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, thanks. Mrs. Chu. <laughs> so, next week, I'll be taking two weeks leave to have a second honeymoon with my wife. You work hard while I'm away, okay? Let's not talk about work today. So where will you be going? <laughs> a cruise trip to the Arctic. The Arctic? We won't be able to call you. Yeah, there'll be no phone or email. I'll be at the end of the world and undisturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Paul, Matthew, Jenny. Patrick, I called you so many times last week, but I couldn't get through. I told you I can't receive calls there. Well, there are really big problems with the new IT system. It was in operation before I left. Ben said the test run was fine. Yes, but it was only tested for a few days, remember? Every IT staff member said the test wasn't thorough. How come no one told me? What's the situation? The system was hacked and our client's credit card information was stolen. And Ben, where is he? Mr. Chu's office? Mm, he's back. Sure, I'll tell him. Mr. Chow needs you on the 20th floor. On my desk. Our company's new IT system had a serious problem last week. I know. We were hacked. A new IT system always has some bugs. But I never expected such a huge loophole. The worst thing is, our company and our clients' information was leaked. I don't even know what the damage is yet. Sorry. I'll go handle it with Ben. Ben? Ben was arrested by the ICAC this morning. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you were the general manager of the company, but you delegated it all to Ben. I don't expect you to micromanage everything. But as you said, as senior management, we have to achieve leadership and strategic planning. But from what I've observed, you didn't lead anyone. You've just been duped instead. <laughs>